I grew up in a storytelling community. My father's family had four mothers and one father and several siblings. And every evening we would meet in one of the houses and tell stories. But I was not very good as telling stories. I was a very good listener, but not very good storyteller. So I had hoped that I would grow up to be able to tell stories as well. Yeah. First of all, the storytelling we had was only done in the evening. But some of us wanted to hear stories in daytime as well. But they told us stories in daytime went home, they disappeared. They only came in the evening when all the work had been done, okay? But we children also at least wanted to hear stories in daytime, okay? So it was wonderful when I learned how to read and write and I could tell myself stories in daytime through books. I was put in prison because of writing a play in an African language, my mother tongue. The play was called I'll Marry When I Want, Gaika Deda in Koyo. So I asked myself in prison, how come that a, an African government, independent, puts me in prison for writing in an African language? You know, in so that was the start of a whole thinking seriously about uh, the question of language and the colonial process. You know, it's also in prison that I wrote my first, I decided English will no longer be the primary means of my writing to be the Koyo language. And I wrote my first novel in Koyo, in prison, Devil on the Cross, on toilet paper. So, Shaitan Mudarafain, exactly. Yes, yeah. So, that's, so, the, so prison for me uh, became like a school. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it became like a school for me. Yeah, try when I try, try to think of, yeah, to, yeah, to do my best. Uh, and, and for me, writing became a means of survival, okay, to help me survive prison, yeah.